Ladies and gentlemen, today's a bit of a different type of video. This is uh, Slay the Princess. I'm going to have chat choose what happens here. Uh, we'll see how fast you guys are to respond, and we'll try to... I don't even know what this game's about, but it's gotten really good reviews, and apparently there are just a ton of different... Like, your choices actually matter, and those games are pretty rare, so... Like, subscribe. Let's go. Watch at your own discretion. Horror game. Okay. Slay the Princess contains flickering images as well as a parallax effect that on rare occasions cause motion sickness in players. Is this street? Am I allowed to stream this game? Whatever horrors you may find in these dark spaces have heart and see them through. There are no premature endings. There are no wrong decisions. Decisions. There are only fresh perspectives and new beginnings. This is a love story. How am I going to cope with jump scares? I hope there's no jump scares at all. <laughs> That's what I'm really hoping for. Uh, here we go. New game. You guys ready? You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. All right, there's a princess in the cabin. You're here to slay her. What? If you don't, it will be the end of the world. What do you think of that, chat? Uh-oh. How's sound, by the way, on your end? Is it good? Is it good on you? If it's good on your end, it's good on my end. So, we have a choice here. We could explore the end of the world. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. Explore is in the dialogue. Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Oh. Killing a princess? Seems kind of bad, though, doesn't it? Can someone else do this? Forget it. I'm not doing this. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Ooh. This is interesting. All right, chat. We got one, two, three, four... Five, six. I'm going to start this off with a poll from chat because I think it's only fair that we start this game off this way and I don't choose the first decision. Um, everybody's saying two. Everybody's saying two. All right, we're going to go with two. Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? All right, here we go. Number two. While I appreciate the mental exercise, we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. Okay. So apparently... Uh, and why am I supposed to believe this person? Do you know what I mean? Why am I automatically like supposed to believe this guy? Nevertheless, let me assure you, the princess is locked up because she is dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. Right. Okay, good point. But how do we know, right? And before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. Very well. Causality doesn't matter here, because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end, and there is no changing that. Okay. I love this, by the way. This is awesome. It's no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. Okay. Unless, of course, you do your job and slay her. Ah, uh, I don't know. All right. The end of the world. What are you talking about? Killing a princess seems kind of bad, though, doesn't it? Can't someone else do this? Okay, so we just... Have you ever considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? And then we got more answers here. Do I get some sort of reward for doing this? Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me what to do. Sweet. I've always wanted to off a monarch. Viva la revolution. <laughs> Silently continue to the cabin. Turn around and leave. Dude, 
That's a lot of options. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Ten. Ten options. Again, from the top. End of the world, what are you talking about? Killing a princess seems kind of bad, though, doesn't it? Uh, can't someone else do this? I'm leaning, I'll tell you, I'm leaning chat. I'm nice. leaning with this one. I like this one a lot. Uh, text Mike 21 thank you for the prime. I appreciate that. Silent, I think we have to put this to a vote now. We're getting a... Uh, we'll have to pull it up, I think. All right. I can only have five, uh, five options. Okay. So what about like one, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six. We'll do it this way and I'll decide one of the two. Um, nice. I'm allowing additional votes and it is, let's say 10. Okay, let's go. Little poll here to get us started chat. Uh, it's above your chat. There's a little button you can hit. G to Chef 81. See, see what I did? I had to decipher the name before I said it. I was reading it. I was like, how do I say this? It's Is it G or GD a chef or GDA chef? I read it as G the chef. I think for three months. Sweet Angel, you're new here. Uh, you have a lot of fun watching the puzzle videos. Thank you. All right, here we go. 30 seconds left to vote. Chat gets to decide what we're doing. You got to cat the fisher. You got to vote in the in the poll. It's above chat. There's like a little poll button. I don't think there again, there are no right answers. There are no wrong answers. I think this is supposed to be some type of like philosophical exercise. Nine ten, so one of the last two. Either silently continue the cabin or turn around and leave. All right, let's continue to the cabin. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Ooh, cool graphics. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Chat, this is interesting. What's up, Nikolai? Ooh, okay. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Right? Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Look at the, uh, the little cursor. is like a little werewolf hand or something. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Yes. I mean, in case we need it, right? The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I suppose we should take it then. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Sorry, I had to, I had to take the loot. Natural instinct. Here we go, chat. Drop a follow. The door to the basement creaks open. If you're just revealing tuning in. a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. Uh. The air feels heavy and damp. A hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. I mean, this guy's trying to make 
He's trying to sweeten the deal on me killing the princess. Her voice carries up the stairs. This uh, SSG logo. Who's there? Somebody asked about the chair. Sorry, <laughs> I was just doing that. Uh, who is there? What is her she name? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Okay. Don't let it fool you. I don't think it's she sounds that dangerous. Manipulation. Ha. Also, is anyone else getting the impression that the narrator can hear what I'm saying? There's a weird, weird feeling about this. Hi. Just checking in on you. Hey, I think I'm here to kill you. <laughs> Continue down the stairs. All right, chat, what do we do? We go, hi, just checking in on you. First answer, uh, two. Oh, it's been so long since anyone's come down here. I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. This music is pretty good. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. Okay. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Why is she bound? Right? She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? There's no way. But maybe she becomes like this crazy tyrant. Focus on the task at hand. I'm not go- this is my hand, I'm not gonna stab her. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? I mean... What? No way! Why would you even think that? Or... Okay, yeah, you caught me, I'm here to slay you. Nuh-uh! I haven't decided yet. I'm just here to talk. Or steal your nerves and step forward. I haven't decided yet, chat. Chat's thick and four here. How about you drop the knife and the two of us just talk? Look how reasonable she's being. She's, she's being very reasonable. Drop the blade and talk things out. It's gotta be a trick. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster, but killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. True. Big decision to make here, chat. Do we drop it or tighten our grip? One or two. I'm giving you about five seconds. Chat, go, go, go. Spam. Two, two. I think two is looking. Yeah. I really want to drop it. Part of me wants to drop it. So bad. Uh, I'm saying two. All right. You ignore the trembling in your hands. And tighten your grip on the blade. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. Oh, God damn. All right. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. If I hesitate now, it'll be too late. How should I? 
What if she isn't bluffing? What if she kills us? Or, are you sure she's not armed? Or, I'm sorry, can we just talk? Or, I'm not dropping the blade. Drop the blade, slay the princess. Whoa. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's one to six. <laughs> Chat, you're evil. Wait, that's three people want to slay. <laughs> All right. Chat wants to end it. Let's do it. Doubt, unfortunately, clouds your thoughts as you attempt to run her through. We did doubt. We did have doubt. I did have doubt. I doubted. A moment of distraction and hesitation is all she needed to sidestep your thrust and deliver a catastrophic blow to your jaw. Okay, she's insane. It feels like you've been hit with a sledgehammer. You can feel bone grinding on bone where your jaw has been She's punched. overpowered. Holy shit, that hurt. Did hurt. Though she's unarmed, the shock of that first strike is enough to stagger you, putting you and the princess on somewhat equal footing. Your blade slashes through the air again and again, and oh my her fists connect with your body as many times or more, each impact as heavy as that first bone-crushing hit. You already made your choice, chat. We can can't drop it now. We gotta finish the job. What do you think? Yeah, finish the job, right? You and the princess stare at each other, both gasping for breath, equally exhausted. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can at least make sure that she won't make it out. I'm not gonna make it out alive? Excuse me? Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, it's a miracle anyone is still standing right now. Can you not feel all those ruptured organs bouncing around in there? If the princess doesn't do our friend in herself, internal bleeding is certain to finish the job. What? The two of you clash for the final time. You feel your ribs What's break happening? as she delivers a heavy blow, but you push through the pain falling forward and sinking your blade deep into the princess's heart. Oh. The two of you fall to the floor. Is that the end of the game? This was fun. The princess gasps, her voice an unhealthy rasp as her lungs start to fill with blood. You put up more of a fight than I thought you would. But I have to wonder, do you really think this is the end? I told you! The narrator knows! But you don't have time to worry over such things. Everything goes dark, and you die. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. What? You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will I be see. the end. Of I the see world. what this is. Here we go. This is where the game starts. I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. Wait, hasn't this already happened? Okay, no. But I died. What am I doing here? She's going to kill me again. But I already slew the princess. Sure, she uh, also killed me, but I definitely got her. Why am I here again? Go to the cabin, turn around, and leave. A terrible sense of deja vu. No, you don't have one. that. This is the first time either of us have been here. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. You know I can hear you, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. 
That's fine. It doesn't matter if he can hear us. The only thing that matters is marching up to that cabin and winning. Okay. That's the spirit. There's no point in squabbling when the real threat is just up that hill. Explore this is more than a deja vu, though. Uh, this is more than a deja vu, though. Uh, I'm pretty sure the whole thing literally just happened. I'm just going to go to the cabin, I think. If I leave, I think it just restarts, no? Proceed to the cabin. Let's go oh, slay boy. this princess. Before you go any further, she will lie, she will cheat she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Okay. Don't believe a word she says. We know lying this already. And cheating doesn't sound like her at all. Not that it matters. It's not like she can lie Who's or the cheat stubborn? in the middle of a fight. Who's the stubborn? Are you sure about that? The point of my warning wasn't to start an Is argument that over that what circumstances the princess is capable of lying in. It was to give you some broadly applicable advice. The princess will do and say whatever she thinks it will take to get her out of there. Mm -hmm. So don't trust her. Ever. Are we clear? I can tell you this. The narrator did not lie about the fact that she is dangerous. But we did lunge at her. Crystal. Let's nice. just get on with it already. Glossy Laurie, thanks for the 21 months with the tier one. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, proceed to the cabin. Let's go. This is round two. All right, we tried we tried attacking her. It didn't work out. Here we are. The cabin is tighter than its exterior would suggest. Its cold stone walls press in on you. This is a different cabin. It's forcefully direct you towards your destination. The only furniture of note is a black iron altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. All right. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I'm going to leave the blade here. Wait, I don't know. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. That's because there isn't a mirror. There's what? the altar, the blade sitting on the altar, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. Wait. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. Oh, stop bickering and just get on with it. Who even cares if there's a mirror? Okay, I have three voices talking to me now. I care about whether I'm being lied to. I care. I want to look at myself. I want to see how handsome I am. You're right, it doesn't matter. Remain silent. Approach the mirror. We cannot... Exactly. We did learn that we cannot trust the narrator. The narrator has lied to us. He said just attack while you can, and she absolutely destroyed us. As do I. I'm not lying to you. Use your eyes. There is no mirror. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would a mirror even do? Let you waste time preening yourself instead of doing what needs to be done. Approach the mirror. Take the blade. Enter the basement. I'm going to go to the mirror. Walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. <laughs> this really isn't funny. You reach forward Ooh. and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. That's our hand? But it was there a second ago. Well, there's nothing. And now it's gone, so all of us can stop arguing about it and get to fighting. Whoa. Okay, do I take the blade or no this time? Maybe I don't take it this time. Maybe we just communicate and we try to talk it out. You know? Yeah, let's try two. No knife this time. Yeah, no knife. Right then, fisticuffs it is. <laughs> fisticuffs it is. to her anyway. Wouldn't want to feel like we cheated our way to a win. As long as you can still get the job done. And don't forget that the blade is waiting for you upstairs if you happen to change your mind. Let's 
The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a rough stone staircase, its walls pressing at your sides and tightening as you descend. The air seeping from below is heavy and oppressive, with an almost sulfuric odor to it. Her fierce voice carries up the stairs. Is that another challenger? Finally. It's been ages since I've had a good fight. Hmm, okay. She wants to this fight. This isn't what she sounded like last time. Her voice is a little deeper, almost threatening. Good. Sounds like my kind of princess. Uh -huh. As much as I appreciate the enthusiasm, just make sure you don't let your bloodlust get to your head. You need to stay focused and keep your wits about you. Remember, you're here to slay the princess, not to have a good fight. Hmm. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view. Whoa! A large shackle leading from her wrist to the basement wall. Looks like she could rip those chains out of the wall without a second thought. Oh, it's you again. I've been hoping you'd find your way back here. Again? Good to see that death doesn't stick for either of us. What? But no little knife this time, huh? No. <sighs> I hope you're not just here to chat. I've been itching for a rematch. I hope you heard all of that, Mr. Narrator. This is a lot different than the last time, but last time definitely happened. Or, you look different, so you do remember me. I actually am just here to chat. I'm actually here to free you. I'm not saying I'm not here to fight, but I think the two of us have a few things to unpack first, like how we're both still alive. I haven't decided what I'm doing yet. Don't worry, I'm always up for a good fight. In fact, the only reason I came down here without a weapon was because I felt like having a knife was unfair. Attacker unarmed. The blade's upstairs, I'll be right back. <laughs> I don't know what happened to you since the last time we met, but I'm not fighting a giant demon lady. Bye. Turn around and leave without saying anything. These are a lot of choices, chat. <laughs> uh, I don't know if, uh, maybe. I think the unpacking thing, I think we should unpack a little bit. What is there to unpack? I was dead and now I'm not and the same goes for you. There, unpacking done. Don't you get it? We've been given free reign to wail on each other. Forever. Forever? Couldn't have said it better myself. All right. Fine. I believe you. What? What you said earlier in the woods, I believe you. You've already met the princess, and the princess has already met you. That's all the more reason to take this seriously. You don't know. Whatever brought the two of you back to life isn't a fluke. And beyond that, do you know who doesn't remember anything that happened last time? Me. I don't remember. Uh, are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. As far Narrator's as losing his cool. The fate of my world is still very much on the line. Not all of us have the luxury of jumping over to a parallel universe the second we die. Okay, parallel universe. Just because it bothers you, I'm going to take this even less seriously. You don't know the depths of my apathy. <laughs> no, uh, or lie. No, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never died. Do you see how alive I am right now? Would someone as alive as me already have died? I don't I don't think so. Ooh, that could really confuse him. Don't worry, I'm going to uh, I'm going to do a good job. You got me. Pretty much everything you just said is true or remain silent. Should we just gaslight him right back? Don't try to lie to me. Just please take this seriously. Agreed. We can't win unless you treat this fight with the gravity it deserves. Ugh. All right. I'm here to free you. Do I free her? If I mean, do we just free her? Aside from your empty hands, you look, you look different. exactly the same. I... 
Why? You didn't want to talk last time. Are you scared I'm going to kill you again? Ooh, okay. Turn around and leave without saying anything? Explore this? Let's just explore it. Free her? You want? I don't know why I'm even bothering, to be honest. You know the stakes of the situation. Who says I want to be free? Hmm. Then what do you want? I want the two of us to fight to the death. I want to feel your knife split my flesh. Oh my and god. And I want to hear your bones snap beneath my fists. Oh my god. Is that really too much to ask? Yeah. Especially that last part. <laughs> Don't be such a coward. I'm just being cautious. If it comes to violence, we can find a way to deal with her that doesn't involve throwing our life away. I'd rather not die again, and I find it deeply disturbing that you seem to relish the thought of it. Ah, uh, what do we do this time? Because it doesn't matter if we die again. It'll just be another opportunity to have the fight of our life. The stubborn just loves we fighting. I don't know that for sure, and I'd rather not bet on it. I haven't decided yet. And why not? You decided what to do with me quickly enough last time. Are you scared I'm going to kill you again? Maybe you're worried I'll put you down for good this time. If you want to talk, I guess I can talk. But you should come a little closer first. Oh my god. So, so far, she's exhibited all the traits that the narrator said. All those manipulating, lying traits that the narrator said. One, two, three, four. The blades, get the blade. Everyone's saying get the blade. Why don't I just step closer? Maybe I should just step closer. I'm gonna take a cautious step towards the princess, unarmed. I wish I could believe you know what you're doing, but you clearly don't. You stop a few feet short of her reach, her chains taut as she stares down at you. She's a lot bigger than I thought she was. <laughs> Why do you sound so scared? We can take her. Well, what do you want? Because every second we waste talking, is a second we could spend killing each other instead. Why do you want us to kill each other? Can't we just, I don't know, spar a little? Maybe there's some compromise where we can all get what we want. Nobody has to die and the world doesn't have to end. Uh, if you want, if you want, if we'll, all you want to do is fight me, doesn't that mean you won't end the world? Does that mean you won't end the world? Or so you're just fine locked away in here? You really don't want to be free? What happened after you died? We have to figure out why we're here. You're you're put here for a reason. I was sent to kill you for a reason. Don't you care what that reason is? Fine, if you want to fight, I'll give you a fight. Retrieve the knife. I'm going to. F I'm not going to fight you. Turn around and leave. Remain silent. Gosh, that is a lot of choices. I want to ask. If all you want to do is fight me, does that mean you won't end the world? The world? <laughs> if there's a world, I haven't seen it. There's you, and there's me, and there's the ground beneath our feet. Why would I care about ending something I've never seen? She's never seen. These are all clues, chat. She's never seen. 
What happened after you died? I woke up, didn't you? I'm gonna say you're different. I'm gonna try and convince I her know. of this. You already told me. The basement's different. I like it. It's so cramped. Like the only way out of here is through each other. Oh my god. Doesn't any of this bother you? Don't you care about what you are? Ugh. I care, okay? I guess I just care differently than you. When I saw you come back down here, I thought you would understand. I thought that we would want the same thing. But all you've done is ask me annoying little questions. It's like you don't even want to enjoy being alive. Oh, I wish you could hear me right now. I want to enjoy being alive. I want to fight. Or we could just walk single file out of here. You don't have any wounds, leave it at that. Ooh, okay. Three choices, chat. Two for go, saying one. Uh, a lot of ones. Let's go with one. That's right. Not everything has to be so violent. That's pathetic. I would never do that, and I hate that you even suggested it. Oh, no. You don't either. Leave it at that. Okay. Back to these ones. We don't. Because I know why we're We have to here. figure out why we're, we're here. We're here to kill each other. We're here to kill each other? It sounds huh. like she doesn't care if she dies here. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Okay. How boring. I'm not interested in watching you try and outwit her. I'm interested in overpowering her. Mm. We shouldn't need to use any dirty little tricks to win. What if we get her to, like, off herself? What if we get her to off herself? <gasps> and then what? I'm still going to want to coat these walls in our blood. I know what I am. Okay. I don't need answers. She knows what she is. She doesn't need answers. Why do you want us to kill each other? Can't we just spar? So you're just fine being locked away. Fine, I'll give you a fight. You're put down here for a reason. I'm not going to fight you, I think, is where we're going right now. I think we could all agree, right? I'm not going to fight you. We've done the... F we know she can probably rip our limbs from our bodies. I say we just... What I'm not going to fight. Do? do you think pacifism is going to win her over? Because it won't, right? This isn't fun. This isn't interesting. It's pathetic and <laughs> cowardly and boring. It might be right. He's got some points. Is that so? Let's see if you still feel that way once I start beating you. Oh no! The music changed. She's still bound by those chains. All we have to do is take a step back and she won't be able to do anything to us. All that does is put the two of you at another impasse. You can't stall forever. <laughs> do you oh, really no. think those chains will stop her? She's not the type to hand out empty threats. She's honest. It's what makes her so interesting. She's honest. But she has to be bluffing, right? If she isn't bluffing, then why is she still... She steps back as she steps forward, her bindings creaking ominously. Oh. And then they snap. Oh, no. It was only a matter of time. Dear Lord, what do we do? Oh, if only there was some sort of weapon you could <laughs> use to fight a world-ending monstrosity. I wonder where you might find one of those. Exactly. Just do what I've been telling you to do since the second we got here. Take the blade. Fight her. Kill her and win. Okay, fine. If you want to fight, then we can fight. You're not giving me any options. Just let me get a weapon. <laughs> Just let me get a weapon is wild. 
flee up the stairs and retrieve the blade. This doesn't change anything. Refuse to fight. <sighs> Silently stand your ground and refuse to fight. I'm going to choose the last one. I suppose there isn't your numb body pew, is there? You stand your ground as the princess thunders across the basement floor, her shoulders tucked low as her fierce, unblinking gaze locks onto yours. You don't see the impact, and you can't say for sure if you even feel it, but you hear your bones splinter, and you can feel your feet leave the floor as you're hurled bodily into the unflinching stone wall. We're fine. Are we fine? Are we really? No, you're obviously not fine. Ah. Your body is broken. Enough games. Go upstairs, pick up that knife, and fight me. She wants me to get the knife. Remain silent. Why aren't you saying anything? Is this some sort of trick? Are you tricking me? The or more, really the more I tell her, fragile? the more it fuels her. Because why would you? Why wouldn't you? Ah! The princess's shoulders tense with fury as she storms towards you. You can see her face flush, her knuckles going white as she clenches her fists, her entire body trembling with a burning rage. I can't believe you're making me watch this. Fine. If you want to die like a pathetic little worm, you can die like a pathetic little worm. I guess I'll see you all next time. See ya. She reaches down and grabs you by the throat, lifting your limp form and slamming it forcefully against the wall. Her eyes twitch as her grip tightens around your neck. <laughs> hey yo. She sure is taking her time, isn't she? She's taking her time. Why? Why are you letting me do this? Why are you making me do this? Why won't you fight back? Ah, we're getting somewhere, chat. Remain silent. Remain silent. We gotta remain silent. You can't even answer me, huh? I hate you. Uh oh, maybe wrong choice. Her hardens. Do you feel a horrific pop? We should have answered. I thought we were just gonna remain silent in our resolve. Body crumpling to the stone floor as your vision starts to fade. She broke our neck. What am I supposed to do without you? Without? I guess I'll see you all next time. I can say that now, right? We're dead. I can't wait to be stuck in this useless body all over again. I won't be seeing you, but I suppose something like me will. Everything goes dark, and you die. Okay. Unleash the power of pacifism on your foe. Well, I just got a in the woods. And at the end little of reward. Path, oh, I've heard achievement. this one before. Let me guess. Let me guess. There's a Look at this place. A princess. You want us to get rid of her for you, but it's not gonna happen. Your scenarios are getting darker. My watch. Oh, you bloody fool. Am I the only one here who actually listened to her? She wants a fight. And we're not gonna give it to her. It's funnier if we don't. You think what happened last time was funny? I thought we were oh, there's a new voice. A cycle of violence. I thought we were practicing pacifism in the face of mortal peril. I thought we were being brave. Heroic. We were. Ah, we're a deep and multifaceted being. Who's to really say that your thing and my thing can't? Oh, he's a contrarian. Focused. He's just always saying the opposite. I'm just saying, doing it for a laugh takes away from the moment. It was a good moment. It was a good moment. Okay, so the hero's telling the truth. The narrator is lying. Oh, will both of you just shut up? Stubborn just wants to fight. Make me rage, boy. Contrarian says the opposite. This is just great. <sighs> Let me cut to the chase. Clearly, you've already been. Yeah, you think? What does here even mean, though? You've told us about the path of the princess and all of that already, but this is a very different path than the last one. 
I eat paint.co. What's up? Somebody fill in this guy. That's a good point. Everything here is a little off. Yes, precisely. And if you'd given me two seconds to finish my thought, I would have <laughs> said that. Oh, you're actually letting me talk now. Great. If you've already been here, it means you've seen things you aren't supposed to have seen, and you know things that you aren't supposed to know. This doesn't look like a path in the woods, if reality seems distorted. It's because reality is distorted. So you knew this could happen. You knew we'd be able to restart like this. <sighs> Look, if the world around you is changing, especially all the way out here, then that means you're nearing the point of no return. Whatever happens next, that's it. There won't be any more do-overs. So you'd better take things seriously. I think there will be more do-overs. Feels like I'm being pulled off in a hundred different directions. You'd better all listen to me when the time comes to make a choice. I like that option. If I don't slay her, I just stay here and do anything else. We hit this point of no return, then what happens? No matter what happens next, it seems like our answers are at the cabin. We might as well proceed, proceed silently. I'm done with this bye, turn around and leave. Nice. Smiley Spectator, thank you for the tier one. I appreciate that and welcome. I like this one. I like number one. The fact, like, you all listen to me when the time comes to make a choice. I like this. A hundred? Where are you getting that number? We're talking four. Maybe five directions tops. At least for now. I'm sure I can come up with more if you give me enough time. I don't think you have much to worry about. You're still the one in charge here, and I don't think that's ever going to change. Okay. Then what happens? Have you even been listening? It's the end is what happens. We don't yeah, know that. but is there something after the end? How am I supposed to know? The end means finality. It's not like I can just peek on over to the other side and tell you what it's like there. If there even is a there. Isn't it your job to know things? Maybe we need a better narrator who can actually answer our questions. It's my job to guide you through your task and to state the facts of what's happening. Okay. That hardly requires omniscience. <clears throat> and besides, I'm the best you're going to get. Because I'm the only one here who can do my job. Chat, do we turn around or do we go to the cabin? That, that's what we're asking here. Do we turn around or do we go to the cabin? Uh, cabin? Cabin this. Good, we're all on the same page. It isn't long before you find yourself at the end of the path, staring up at the cabin on the hill. You'll find the princess within. That's it? No final words of advice? I'd rather not waste any more time. I'm sure that any advice I'd give at this point is something you've already heard. Don't be so hard on yourself. We all wind up in creative ruts now and then. I'm sure if you put your mind to it, you could think of something worth telling us. He's just saying the opposite. The interior of the cabin is a place that feels long forgotten. There was once an elegance to its construction. This looks like the mirror. Columns holding a high Look at the blood roof, coming from there. windows letting in oh, no. starlight. The chapter names are clues? Ooh, yeah, good. What's this here? Oh, it's giving us the whole thing. Oh, that's interesting. But that is how it was. Now there is a growth that has overtaken it. A viscous fluid seeps from cracks in the stone walls, and it congeals into chaotic streaks of writhing nerves and wet clumps of living meat. That's living horrible. Meat. I think it's kind of nice. It makes <laughs> the room feel alive, doesn't it? The only furniture of note is a pulsating pedestal. Fury. A pristine blade perched on its edge. Fury is chapter three. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. We'll need it if we want to do things right. I say we leave it to rust. Let's not make the same mistake twice. We could have won if we had it last time. Take it. I think we can still talk to this thing. 
I think it's going to be harder if we don't make the right choices. It's going to go very badly very quickly. <coughs> the mirror. mirror. There is no mirror. There's the pedestal, the blade sitting on the pedestal, and the door to the basement. Yeah, we've done all this already. I don't know what to tell you. There isn't a mirror because I wouldn't know if there was a mirror. You're either seeing things or you're confused on the definitions of door and mirror. Or you're seeing things. That seems far more likely. <clears throat> Last time there was also a mirror. I say we ignore the mirror because say? last time we looked at it, it just turned into a wall. It means you're hallucinating. It went away after we touched it last time. Let's just do it again. I'm not going to take the blade. You step forward and approach. It really is just like last Oops. time. Are we really hallucinating? Why does it matter if it's actually real or not? Talking about it gets under his skin. That's all that matters. We should talk about it even more. Let's just <laughs> smash it and get it over with. I'm ready to <clears> get <throat> violent. We won't be able to see what's in there if we smash it. Do whatever you want with it. The mirror isn't real, so how you handle it doesn't matter, aside from wasting dangerous amounts of time. I'm gonna smash it. You bring your fist crashing down against the door leading to the basement. It would have done the same thing. As if on command, it slowly slides open, scraping against the stone floor. It would have done the same thing. hinges moaning as it reveals the dim path ahead. Right. Why am I not surprised? You step forward uh, into the darkness. Here we go. What does she look like now? The stairs leading down oh to the God. basement are at once both narrow and grandiose. She used to be a the lovely little princess. The ceiling stretches up into a gloom beyond your sight, while walls wet with tumorous growths press in uncomfortably at your sides. You, the air is thick, its odor an oppressive violence. The metallic scent of fresh blood twisting with the nauseating embers of Ugh. charred remains. If the princess lives here, slaying her yeah, is probably, probably doing, doing her, her a favor. favor. You already said that. Her voice. A bellowing rage roars up the stairs. Oh my god. So you've returned after denying me the salvation of combat? Are you here to gloat? Are you here to mock what I've become? Yes. Do you think that if you let me kill you enough times, I'll suddenly soften and repent for sins that live solely in your head? Well, we've tried that, haven't we? Now come down and see what your refusal has done to me. See how much you can bear to witness the consequences of your actions. Do you hear that? Mm. Well, sounds like we got to her last time. Let's keep pushing, see what else we can make happen. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. The chamber's walls are painted in blood. A deep, sickening red that drips down in clotted streams onto the charred corpses that make up its floor. This place reeks of torment, of ripped skin and burning bone. The princess stands in its center, muscles flayed and bare and weeping, draped in a tattered dress of her own skin. Oh my god. Her heart beats from its place in her open chest. Do you know what I'm going That's to do right to there. you? So exposed. There's not so much a moment of hesitation before she steps forward. Her chains pull taut, holding fast as she strains against them. The cuff around her wrist digs deeper into her skin. Blood drips from the place where metal meets flesh. And then, with a nauseating sound, the skin tears. Ew. It plops to the ground, and she pulls her red, glistening arm free from her bindings. She is loose, and she is coming for you. She was, you, you are right, JR. She was sad that she, she killed us. Romanian chef, thank you so much. 15 months. She wants us to be afraid because she wants us to think she can make us suffer. Right. Don't give her the satisfaction. That's right, no fear. She's bigger than the last time, but she's pulling herself apart. She's practically done most of the work for us. We don't even have a weapon. It doesn't matter. I refuse to go out any way that isn't kicking and screaming. They said this was a love story. Mm. 
I think I'm going to say I'm sorry. Nice. Romanian chef. Jeez. Thanks for the five gifted. Really appreciate that. If you guys got a gifted sub from a Romanian nice. chef, be sure to say thank you. I think I'm going to apologize. Nice. One of these two. Nice. If you're nice. sorry, then you'll stand and fight. I don't want a sniveling coward. I want to squeeze the life out of a ferocious heart. She bounds across the room, her fists ready, her heart set upon your destruction. With a horrifying squelch, Gah. you are unwound. Damn it! I hope you weren't planning on dying. We're going to make this last forever. Hey, what? Huh. I feel cold. Oh, look I've at that. I've never felt cold before. I just saw her got nabbed. She got nabbed. True to her word, you do not die by her hand. Something has taken her away, and it's left something She's else gone. in her place. W where did she go? What the hell's going on? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? I don't know where she went. And I don't know how we'd even go about looking for her. The narrator is gone. I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. Approach the mirror. He is. Does that mean the world ended? Again, what the hell are we supposed to do? The world didn't end. We're still here. Come on. We just need to keep going. There's something dreadful about it. I, I don't think you should. Okay, they're telling me to not look in the mirror. <laughs> don't do that. Screw the mirror. We just need to find the princess. You're right. She's gone. It's just us and that awful thing. It's like it's mocking us. Again, what the hell are we supposed to do? I, I have to approach the mirror. I'm begging you, don't. Do this. I have no other choice. The mirror never scared you before. It's different now. It feels... I don't know. Final. Time for you to see what's, what's in it. The body, it's you. You're alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. No, no one's reading this. Proceed to the cabin. You're at the cabin. Approach her. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? I think that you are like me. We are oceans reduced to shallow creeks. What do we want to know? And who are those people behind you? <laughs> uh, Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? I know only that they are. Okay. Do you know the narrator? 
You are the only thing I have ever known. I'm the only thing she's ever known. The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. Yes, nerves and fibers to feel the worlds beyond. Perspectives to make my own. Okay. This one is desecration. She placed the weight of her agony on you, yet it is she who unwound herself. But there is passion and empathy in her misery. She will make for a burning heart. Do not mourn her. She has finally found peace. Attack the entity. <laughs> Do we attack the entity chat? <laughs> to battle out of nowhere. Destroy your body. Are you the princess? She is part of me, and part of me is her. You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, longing, hope as I witness you. Okay. Is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? What happens now? Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. And the only way we do that is if we die, right? There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget. If only you believe her to be able to. Oh, weird. Bring me more perspectives so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. More perspectives? She means kill her or... Okay, make me forget. I was sent to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what we're going? To, is that what you're going to do? What if I don't let you do this? How many more pieces of you do I have to find? Let's ask her that. More than you have found, but less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape. Okay, to this remove. philosopher bullshit. We need to slay this person. Let's go. <laughs> How can I know? I am flickers in something sprawling and unilluminated. Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? How much will I forget? Everything. Until we meet again. What? Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? And what if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. I'm not going back. Wait. Okay, make me forget. I'm not going back. I feel like we need to... Right? If you need time, then I'll wait with you. Wait forever? Chat, do we wait forever? Or do we say, okay, make me forget? We're kind of being the contrarian here, aren't we? <clears throat> what do you think, chat? Wait forever? All right, let's try it. You are as I am now, and forever is a long time to remain undone. I am not you, but I know that I would return before forever was finished. 
What textures will you leave for yourself to occupy forever? Will you place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping? If you close that box, will you become another you in another world? An imaginary pattern repeating itself until it can no longer bear the weight of its hand-drawn cage? You'll always come back to the box, because you'll always want to know what it means to be you. Okay, alright. I will be here waiting by your side until you're ready to return to mine. The game just shut down. Wait a second. The game is the cabin. The game just shut down. We got to go back in. Chat, we have to go back in. We got to see what happens. You have returned to me. Though you were gone mere moments, I never left your side. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Let's try this one. I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. Okay, make me forget. Let's go. She asks that I tell you to remember her. This you feels all too real. Everything goes dark and you die. Chapter one. Whoa, my head's exploding right now. Woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin. I just got a TV says the real say the princess starts here. You'll know when you see it. You're here to slay her. You can skip previously seen dialogue by hitting tab on your keyboard or R1 on your controller. Turn around and leave. I'm just going to turn around and leave. Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Do you even know where you're going? Quietly continue down the path in the cabin. Away from the cabin. I'm just going to turn around and leave. Walk away. Huh. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands of this whole situation than to take part in it. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. That's strange. It looks like this path oh. also leads to the cabin. How convenient. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. That's great to hear. All right, we're going to the cabin. bring that fiery attitude to princess slaying, I think this will all resolve splendidly. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Right. Everything in her power to stop me from slaying her, but if I'm doing nothing to slay her... Fortunately, she's only a princess, whereas right? you are a valiant and talented woman. She warrior. will do everything in her It'll power easy, to stop... so long as you stay... That's focused. what it is. That's the solution. We can't just go through with this and listen to him. She's a princess... The interior of the cabin is almost entirely the blade is your implement. Enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing her voice softly carries nice. up the stairs. Squirrel Hutch, thank you for the 12 months. Say it's one year. Let's go. Hello? Is someone there? It's hypnotizing. 
It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. That's right, never attack. Um, I'm here to save you, lie. I'm here to save you. Or just hi. Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Please, come downstairs. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Okay, chat. If I say this, that's like hesitating. And I think I just need to... That's hesitating, chat. I think I just need to to trust that everything will be fine. <clears throat> You're only making this more difficult. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. You're making a huge mistake. No. You're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. I feel like this isn't going to go... So if I do this, he's going to go get the knife. She might see that as a threat. She might see that as a threat. I'm not going to get the knife. Maybe there's some way to break the chains? Or if that doesn't work, I guess we can always cut me out of them. Cut me out of them? She offers the suggestion with almost complete nonchalance. If we were stuck down here long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out if it meant we could finally be free. That might be true. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Someone else is here. Is someone else here? You try the door it's locked from the outside. Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. You're here to slay the princess and you won't leave until the task is done. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Easier for whom? Yeah. Easier for everyone. <clears throat> Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. She barely hesitates before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. Well then. As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Or we could use it to free her. You won't like what happens if you do that. Right, because she'll think it's a threat and she'll kill us. Save the princess. <sighs> Fine. Ugh. Against your better judgment, 
you place the blade against the ragged, self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm, just above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. You cut into her flesh. Oh my god. The blade is sharp, and it takes little effort to crack through the bone of her arm. Her limb falls to the ground, and the heavy chains follow suit. She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. She didn't make one sound. No, she didn't. She smiles softly as her gaze meets yours, blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I can't just let her escape into the world. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises hey, the Hey, hey, I'm not deciding this. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. What are you doing? Oh no, all the options are slay the princess. Warn her. Stop that. Something's come over you, hasn't it? Y you know you don't have to do this, right? Your body lunges forward, the blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. No! But the princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. Stop it! Stop trying to resist me! I'm trying to get you out of here alive! The blade! Move the blade! As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes nice. a cautious step forward. J. Hodjo. Hodgo, thank you so much for the prime. We both know this isn't you. She nervously reaches towards oh, you no, and she's takes the blade us. from your infuriatingly rigid hands. What are you doing? Doing. We're dead. I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. We're dead. She plunges it into your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew. It is agony. But you aren't dead yet. Oh no. I'm so sorry. Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. For her sake? Don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. The two of you have literally doomed everyone. Whatever. She sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again, and you feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, God. She doesn't know how to use a knife, does she? <laughs> Apparently not, though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound, and it won't be long before you bleed out. <laughs> I'm so sorry! It's like she can't help herself. With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse. Oh no, whoops. Collapse the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive, the princess stares down at your ruined chest and tears carve, tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood spattered cheeks. can't just end like this, right? Oh, that's rich coming from you. As much as I prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. Mm. It's over. Everything goes dark. And you die. And you die. Chapter two, the damsel. You're on a path in the, you're here to. Okay, all right. Deja vu, this has already happened. But I died, oh you bastard, you're in for it now. I'm up your, I'm wise to your tricks. My tricks? Yeah. What on earth are you talking about? We just met for the first time. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Yes, he didn't approve of us last time, did he? If we're going to save our beloved, we'll have to be sneaky about it. It's a different voice. 
Our beloved? Yes, you'll have to be very sneaky about your intentions if you're going to try and save the princess. Ah, so all of the cards are on the table. What do we do? Then you should know that we and the princess are in love and the four of us will be foiling any and all assassination attempts you've got in the works. We'll see about that. Whatever you do, just be sure to ignore him specifically. It sounds like he's the sort who'd sacrifice the whole world for a peck on the cheek. What can I say? A world without love is a world that isn't worth saving. Those are two very different questions, but fine, I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or at least a version of me. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. You were the one who did us in, villain. Well, not you in the literal sense, but you did everything you could to stop us from rescuing her. Oh, I wonder why. Maybe it's because the entire world was at stake. No lone princess is worth that price. I beg to differ. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just going to take a deep breath and assume that whoever is making the decisions here has the common sense to ignore your protestations. Anyway, I believe your second question was, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. You forced the princess to kill us, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? Oh, good question. If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? We went into space with the, the people space angel. Happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she would? She would never. She's a perfect angel that you cruelly imprisoned as part of some convoluted, dastardly scheme. Convoluted? I don't know how this premise could be any more simple. Princess bad, stop her, save everyone. The helmet girl. <laughs> I'm with them. I'm going to find a way to save her. Let's talk about this princess. Yeah, Just you know be what? Quick about it. The only reason she was even able to kill me last time was because I let her. She could barely hold the knife. How is she supposed to end the world? She just can. Believe me, I wish I could tell you more, but you'll just have to trust that what I'm saying is true, and that, despite it all, you're fully up to the task that's been given to you. So maybe this guy's just maybe always telling the truth, but it's in his words. Maybe threatens the world. Sure, it's her beauty. Why not? And before you ask, no, we can't just keep her down there. If you don't slay her, she's going to find a way out. It's unfortunate, I know, but it's just the way it is. People locked her in that basement, and I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. I've told you everything you need to no, know. No, something's Going not nice. into more detail will just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. Not to sound like a broken record, but the less you know about her, the better things will go for all of us. I know. Oops. Look, I'm not supposed to say this, oh. but it's because you're special. Okay. You're the only person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy. Prophecy. If that helps, but it's just the way things are. Oh, I didn't know we were special. Of course you're special. Why else would you be here? Calling us special isn't going to make us friends. <laughs> this guy's Even amazing. Did, Calling us special isn't going to make us friends. Oh, believe me, the last thing I want is for you and I to be friends. But I'm a professional, and I'm not going to let my dislike for you get in the way of helping you save the world. Great. Now, if you don't mind... 
That's right, you can't... We're going to sweep her off her feet if it's the last thing <laughs> anyone does. This Are these guy. really the sorts of people you'd like to align yourself with? <sighs> You're not at the cabin yet. You still have plenty of time to reflect on the situation. I just hope for all our sakes that you make the right call. I'm gonna leave. Are we running away? What are you doing? We have to save her. Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? The only thing that matters is where I'm not going. The cabin. I'm not going to the cabin. I'm actually pretty okay with the world ending. I relish coming of a new dawn beyond our own. Gonna go walk in the opposite direction now. Quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. I think we just huh. tried this. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. And there's the cabin. That's strange. Turn around You're again. Really keen on wasting again. everyone's time, aren't and you? And again. It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. But fine. You turn around and trek back down the path you came. Wait. Something isn't right. Can you still hear me? You're supposed to wind up back at the cabin again. But everything is getting... Here we go. What? What's going on? Where are we? Oh, I don't like this one bit. The fabric. There's not a single damsel in sight. <laughs> How dull. The world around you is unwound, its physical matter replaced by a textured nothing. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Memory returns. There is a distant rumbling, a sound of many sounds. Undulations pulse louder as something other comes close. You already know what dwells in the empty spaces. Feelers probe across the fabric of reality. Extremities find your consciousness and wrap themselves around it. You are no longer alone. Confusion. Why are you here? I am unfinished. Resistance. Fingers drag claws across the glass surface of your soul. Frustration. The vessel is full of you. It is useless to us if it doesn't bring more gifts. This vessel is full of you. It is useless to us if it doesn't bring more gifts. Force pushing against your will. No, you cannot go back. Not there. Regret. The world is broken beyond repair. We must weave something new. A wagging finger. There is only so much thread in this place. Do not waste it. I am our only salvation. Chapter one, the hero and the princess. You're on a path what? in the woods. And at the end of that path, you're here to s Okay. A warning. She will. We're not going to go. Ignore him. Here we go. The inter blade. Nope. Enter the basement. We're just going to do this again. I want to oh see if the boy. same thing happens. <laughs> Don't. How many times? Wait, really? Come downstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. You walk down the stairs. She's beautiful. I am begging you to. Hi. I, I hope I want to see if this brings us to the it. same thing again. If she gets out of those chains, we're all one step closer to the end. Do we just try the same exact thing? You're only making real quick. Thank you. You're we'll just get through it. You walk up large and heavy. I'm guessing you're doubtful. Okay, I'll be here. Someone else. All right, return to the bottom. 
You easier, easier for everyone. She's I gonna to choose your hand. Pat. If I could choose, she barely does. She ripped for you won't. <sighs> Fine. And you cut the blade is sharp. Her limb. She did know. She how? Think. No. And here we the go. Wait. Watch me. Mm. Stop that. I'm trying to do the same it's thing. Just to see. Your body lunges forward. Stop. I can't resist. Oh no. Thank you. There's no getting through. She pounces on you with the same animal ferocity she All used right. to tear through her arm. But you have a weapon. You raise the blade, digging it under her ribs, aiming directly for the heart. It's not enough to stop her. You feel her claws in your throat, then her teeth, somehow sharp enough to pull apart your flesh and sinew with ease. We're you collapse to the floor. If we're lucky, the wound you managed to inflict will be enough to at least delay her escape from this place. It can't just end like this, right? As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I everything goes dark. And you die. And you're on a path, you're here to... You're the boss. Seriously? You're just opportunist. To turn around and leave. Fine. I suppose you just quietly can. That's strange. You're really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? But fine. You turn. Wait. Something isn't. What's going this on? This is how we reset. Where are we? I like it. Seems like it's got great acoustics. Every door you close on me is a door you close on yourself. Do you want to linger here, entwined with a creature you taught to hate you forever? Eternity never ends. Our infinity is shrinking to something less. I hate you, 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 I hate you. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end you're here to slay her. What if we just keep trying to leave? Seriously? Like again and again. Fine. Good. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. That's strange. You're really... Your silence is deafening. But fine. You turn around and trek back down. Oh, would you look at... Now I can't. Oh, man. Okay. There's no fighting this, is there? I have to go in the cabin, don't I? I'm going to just keep trekking through the wilderness until I find a way out of this place. There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who has ever lived, as well as for everyone who ever will. See about that. And here we go. As you trudge into the woods, something strange starts to happen. At first, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses of familiar wooden structures through the leaves. But as you focus on your surroundings, Whoa. you start to realize that those flickers weren't just a trick of light. In every direction, there is a path and a cabin. Whoa. And not just a cabin, the cabin. An infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need to be. Wait, what's going on? Here we go. We got something different happening, chat. But you're too stubborn for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility because you care more about irritating me than you do about the fate of the world. You've doomed us all, you know that, right? But of course you do. Otherwise you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. You lose track of just how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness, but it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. You're on a path in the woods and at the end of you're here to slay her. If you don't... Stay in the woods forever. Oh, that's clever! 
A little boring, though. It's extremely boring. Can we really do that? Can we really just do nothing? No, you can't just do nothing. You have to do something. All right, so it's decided, even if it's boring, we're going to do nothing forever. Congratulations, you continue to waste everyone's time and do nothing. Wait, can you still hear me? Oh. Things getting funny. What is that? Fabric time. Weird feeling. It's like I'm... Well, it's not nothing, that's for sure. Does that mean we messed up? Sounds a lot like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I really love this. The world around you is unwound. Physical matter is placed place of nothing. The long quiet again. There's distant rumbling, sound of many sounds, undulations, yada, yada, yada. The hands come and peel you back. I... Destra, please, I do not hate you. I am sorry. I said I hate you. I do not have to hate you. We can still leave this place together. An offering. We can be friends. Ecstasy. You are elated. You've never felt more elated than you feel now. Everything is good. You cannot remember what it is like to feel anything other than euphoric joy. A reminder. We can be worse than enemies. Agony. You are torn into a million pieces and you feel pain of each of them. You've never felt more miserable than you feel right now. You cannot remember what it's like to feel anything other than anguish. Mercy. Okay. Round eyes are going to be... I need more vessels that I... So that I can be finished. I cannot find them on my own. For they are me. You are the only one who can do this. You are our salvation. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. Whoa. And in the basement, you're here to slay her. I'm not doing this. Are you serious? No, you have to do it. What do I do? Don't mention it. It's all part of the job. You make your way. A warning. She will lie. We're not going to go. Ignore him. Pursue the cabin. It's giving me no choice but to go to the cabin now. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Okay, wait. So I'm one of those entities with the hands, just like she was. Are we, like, feeding her souls or something? Like, every time we die? Do we... Do we do nothing again? The blade... Uh, take the blade this time. Enter the basement. Let's go. Her voice. Who's there? Uh, she's evil a little she bit. She sounds... Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Her voice was different than when I didn't take the blade, by the way. Oh, are you now? Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? Great job. You gave away the element of surprise. Good luck. You she's so... Coldly beautiful. Focus on the task at hand. You weren't kidding when you said you were here to kill me. Then why did you bring a knife with you? How about you drop it, and then we can chat. She makes a compelling point. Don't you dare. It's fine. Last time we tight we tightened it. I'm gonna drop it. The blade. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. She's already evil because I chose the blade, right? Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship.
What's your name? She hesitates before answering. You can address me as your royal highness. Or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Note the lack of detail. You can't trust her. Too long. Again, she offers no specifics. No matter how hard you try, you'll never get a straight answer out of her. Yeah, this is all made up. Don't just tell her that. Oh. <laughs> is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I like the world, I think. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here a long time. That got us somewhere, I Just think. how long has she been down here? If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... dangerous? Sooner or later, you'll understand that I have your best interests at heart. Hopefully sooner. How sweet. Now be a pal and help me get out of here, would you? We can figure out how to deal with them after I'm free. Fine. What do you want to know? You can't. Don't bother. Hmm. I'm guessing you don't have the key then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... Well, we can always put that knife to good use. Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting. She is. I'm sure of it. I see the relationship thing. Don't jump to any weird conclusions. We're two people who have met each other. By definition, we have a relationship. I've talked enough. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. <sighs> I'm getting you out of here. I'm going to keep you locked away down here, at least for a bit. We can get to know each other better while I decide what to do. That seems like a pretty good compromise. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. That is new. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. And if you don't, I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. If I cut her arm, she's just going to end up killing me, right? I know you think this is a fair compromise, but it isn't. No one wins here. It's a chance we'll have to take. We can make this work. If we just stay here and keep watch, no one has to die. You're making a mistake. You turn your back to the princess and make your way to the stairs. It won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Slip these chains. She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? I 
don't think she's bluffing. Either way, she dropped her mask, didn't she? You can still turn... You'll be the death of all of us, but fine. Have it your way. You close the basement door, locking it behind you and quickly oh, barricading it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. Okay. We can make this work. All right. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement. It isn't long before you start to drift off. Your oh, eyelids no. heavy with fatigue. But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. I know you're still there. Oh my god. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyways. Um, it's probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. She sounds terrifying. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did, and I'll never forgive it. Oh, man. You won't know the kind of enemy you've made to me. Enemy? It I'm... doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. No, it doesn't. So all of what... Oh, just knack, wasn't it? You're not really innocent or harmless. You're not even a princess. You're a monster. Threaten me all you want. All it does is ease These my guilty conscience. These are threats. These are promises. Sooner or later, you're going to have to sleep. And I'll make sure you never see the light of day again. You put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence in the cabin. The ruckus has stopped. And the door to the basement is ajar, its lock broken, and the table shoved out of the way. Where is she? Thanks for helping me get out of that awful basement. You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, unable to do anything but witness her approach. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. So does the narrator, does so the narrator really just tell the truth? I can take my time with you, can't I? She steps closer, one silent footfall at a time, cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down one by one. Or maybe I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the... What a shame. If you'd only... Your lungs stop drawing in breath. I'd right. say better luck next time. Okay. Okay. It can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry. Everything goes dark. And you die. Okay. You're on a path. You're here. Okay, now. No. Don't you start grandstanding about moral. If he doesn't remember. Shh. What if he hears us? Voice of the paranoid? <laughs> That's a very good question, little voice. What if he does hear you? Shit. I think you'll find <laughs> yourselves very hard pressed to keep any secrets from. Uh, turn around good. and leave. Seriously? We'll try to do this again. I suppose you just quietly huh. you're really keen on wasting everyone's time aren't you but fine you t wait something isn't wh what's going on it's finally happened hasn't it feel those limp against your soul why long silence a hollow heart i don't want to see you they're they're so mad you're on a path you're here Okay. What the hell are we doing now? All right. Any other new choices? <sighs> yes. While I have nevertheless, and before you'd cause that, unless. Does it? Unfort. Are you sick? Of course. I mean. I'm just exploring all the things here. It's a secret. But oh, I wait. Think I get a right. reward. 
It's, it's a, a special, special reward. reward just for you. And whatever you think it might be, I can promise you it's going to be even better than your wildest imagination. So I have a good reward. I'm talking about the end of everything as... Don't... Look, you're already on the path that leads to the cabin. Why would you be here if it weren't to complete a very important task? You've made it this far, you might as well reach the end of your journey. All right, now we're on choices. Chat, I'm gonna just gonna fill my coffee. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. We're gonna we're gonna keep we're gonna get to the bottom of this. We got coffee and snacks. Here we go. Good. As long as you remain focused on your goal, it should all be smooth sailing. So, I think avoiding the task isn't getting us anywhere. What do you guys think? Any 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 input or insight that you guys can provide that might help us through this? You make your way up the short a warning before she will lie. We're not going to go through with this, right? Ignore him. I tried killing her without doubting last time. The interior of the cat, the blade, is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. The door to the basement creeper voice. She's Hello? nice this when don't we don't let bring it a knife. Fool you. I think I'm here to slay okay. you. You must have the wrong address. Great job. You've given away the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the... She's beautiful. How could someone like... I am begging you to... Hi. You were joking about coming to kill me, right? D do you think you could get me out of these chains? Okay. Oh. She pauses, carefully formulating her words before she responds. You can address me as your royal highness, or you can just call me princess if your royal highness is too formal. It's the same outcome. As the last one, except with a good universe. Is Princess her name or her title? What if it's both? Could you imagine being named Princess Princess? Like I said, you can call me Princess, if you'd like. Something's wrong. I'm sorry, I've been down here so long, I guess I've just forgotten. I must have a name, though. Everyone has a name. That's what I'm saying, something weird's going on. Okay, that's weird. She hadn't even thought to pick a name for herself. Hopefully, you're starting to see that she can't be trusted. Go back upstairs. I don't see what that has to do with anything. Mm-hmm. What have you been eating and drinking? This is the only time this is ever going to happen, but I agree with the princess. That's hardly relevant. Okay, but actually, what has she been eating? She has to eat, right?
I think keep her in company. Well, that seems like a pretty good compromise. So you weren't kidding on the stairs. I thought you were just making a bad joke. You were actually sent here to kill me? Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. So I'm the only one who liked that idea. <sighs> one way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. It would make it easier for both of us if you'd help. But if you don't, I can promise that you'll regret- right. You have to make a choice. Let's hope- Thank you. You t Where are you go- Fine. Turn your back on me. But it won't be long- Slip, she has to be bluffing, but you rush she up to- Okay. If we're sure- You slowly creep down the basement stairs. Where the princess sat only- Is it just me? Or did this room get a lot bigger? Oh. Oh, you coward. <laughs> no, I don't think we can. Why don't you come closer? I have something to show you. Your eyes dart to the corners of the room. Where is she? There's no right choice. You close the door behind you. Almost magically, its locks immediately click into place. Maybe they'll open if you finish the job. Reminds you of your ex. <laughs> you step forward to investigate the severed limb. A trail of blood leads from its jagged stump into a dark corner. And then you hear the quiet patter of feet against the floor, and there's suddenly a weight on your shoulders. The princess tears into you. Her teeth and the ferocity overwhelm. This is the end. I'm afraid it. You shouldn't have let that fear creep. Everything goes dark. And you die. The beast. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a. You're here to. Yes, we're safe at it. Serious? I guess we will. If this is what you think is best, I'll keep my- Oh, she will- There's a cat- ah, she could've- That's a v maybe. The interior of the cabin is ruinous and dilapidated. It feels like the bla- You t The door to the ba- The air- She- I can see- She said so impatient. You carefully make your way to the last step gives way to the damp All right, here we go. floor of a starlit pit. This is a different version. The walls are obscured by an impenetrable darkness, giving the illusion that the room might stretch on forever. You brush against the wide leaves of plants that surround you on all sides, seemingly the only living things that occupy this strange underground wilderness. The jungle is pressing in on us, hiding her from view. She could be anywhere. You see only a flash of the princess before she scurries away into the underbrush. Dr Remember, she's just a princess. She is certainly not just a princess. You're not helping. It doesn't matter what she is. It what only matters hunted. what she does. Her shining eyes appear between the leaves, staring hungrily at you. From I can hear your heart pounding from the bottom of the stairs, fledgling. You're right to be terrified. I'm so much more than you. And a little splinter clutched in trembling hands won't save you from me. A shiver rushes up your spine and pulls you up. The air's shifting. She's getting ready to pounce. There's a shift in the humid air, and something enormous, the princess, lunges from the shadows, her maw unhinged and dripping, her eyes fierce and full of hunger. She is too quick to outrun, too nimble to outmaneuver, too determined to overpower. This is her domain. You are devoured. I guess that's it then, isn't it? Unfortunately for you, no, this isn't it.
You are in a dark and caustic place. Huh. A thick, fibrous Here lining Tommy. constricts around you, its slick surface impossible to grip. Your hands scrabbling uselessly at your surroundings as they compress in on you. Your lungs can barely expand in such a tiny space. Not that the humid, finite air grants you more than a few shallow breaths at a time. You spoke when you needed to act. The liquid pooling beneath you starts to seep into your skin. You itch. <laughs> the belly acid. When I killed you, I tried to leave this place, but it wouldn't let me. You belong down there, it screamed at me. The world is better off without you in it. The flesh around you rumbles as the princess begins to move, her thundering footfalls twisting you helplessly about. Your skin protests as the corrosive liquid sloshes around you. But you, you don't belong down here. You came from somewhere else. You came from out there. So I consumed your dead heart, and I carried it in my throat, and I draped what was left of you on my back, and I threw myself against that door. Okay. She stops, her muscles tensing around you, and through the muffling layers of her flesh, you hear the whine of straining metal. And with a pop, she lurches forward, your body lurching right along with her. Hmm. Her chains, she's loose. But even then, it denied me freedom. You cannot fool me by draping yourself in decay. I know your true nature, and it is suffering. Gravity pulls at you as you're hefted upwards, the distant creaking of ancient wooden steps barely audible over the thudding of the princess's heart. And then it was gone, and I was here. A new enclosure, a nicer cage. But still a prison. I learn from my wounds. Does that work? Could she free herself if we're alive in here? Do you really need me to give you a definitive answer for you to understand that the situation is grim? Stop her. Do something. You still have that steel claw. Tear through her before we are her. Survive. Or we could use it to make this quick for ourselves. If she needs us in order to leave, we could at least deny her that. That is a bad thing to do. <coughs> Can you talk to the cabin? You could have asked me before swallowing me alive. Spit me out or I'll kill myself and nobody gets to leave. I have my steel claw. I could use it to hurt you. Dig with your steel claw. Fine, you can leave. You can leave. Just let me go. Screw you, slay yourself. Chat, what do we do? I'm worried about a few of these. What about spit me out or I'll kill myself and nobody gets to leave? Or just slay myself. I think the last one might be... I'll do the spit me out. I'm so very, very patient. If it takes lives and lives and lives to swallow my way to freedom, then that is what I'll do. You threaten me, but you don't act. Your body is violently dropped. The cage is still locked. I don't think we can talk our way out of this. We are drowning in death. Uh... In an act of spiteful defiance, you pull your weapon to your throat, your shaking, ulcerous hand clenched tight around its hilt. 
and then you draw it across your bubbling veins. Your blood flows out, filling the tiny space inside the princess. You start to fade. A waste of a good life. It's better than giving in to her. But in the end, the opinions of stray voices mean little in the grand scheme of things. Everything goes dark, and you die. His gaze pushes oh, against our. Sorry, I missed. Uh, I missed what they said. Uh, we are a path in the woods. We have no beginning and we have no end. But something cold and unnatural sits watching us from beyond the edge. Our edge. His gaze pushes against our borders, curling them into themselves, preventing them from stretching to the places they need to reach. No, no, no. That's all wrong. You're not a path in the woods, you're on a path in the woods. Who's even saying that? That's not... That's not the princess, is it? Oh no. Uh, How many times have you been here? I think this is our third? That's bad. That's very, very bad. It wasn't even supposed to reach two. If you're at three, well... No wonder things aren't the way they're supposed to be. Let's get our facts straight. What happened last time? What could you have possibly done for things to be like this? The thing that sits beyond our edge speaks his logic into us. He tries to grasp at things that cannot be grasped. He tries to stare with wide pupils at that which can only be held from the corner of the eye. Are we in the princess's mind? Words. Shut up. The rest of you, talk. What happened? What did you do? We're part of her because she consumed us. Can she hear us if we talk? I can hear everything, little one. But you don't have to be afraid of me. There's no place where you end. We've given her all these again. souls. Nothing can hurt you here. All these people. Not anymore. It shouldn't count as her eating us if we offed ourselves. We're still here, though. And if we're safe, isn't that better? I guess this is... fine. Doesn't feel half bad. Miles better than being Damn, stu the anyway. stubborn is very happy about she it. She ate you. And now you're convinced that you're stuck together. What a mess. He doesn't understand. We aren't convinced of anything, and we aren't stuck together. We're one. This is how we're supposed to be. Can't you feel it? I'm not watching you, I'm trying to help you. That's not an answer to our question. I don't know what he is. I only know that he is. We have to get rid of the narrator. We have to get rid of the narrator. He wishes for you and I to tear ourselves apart. Ah, the narrator wants us to do it. The narrator's I evil. I do want that, but only because it's in your best interests. It's in everyone's best interests. You won't be able to slay her unless you remove yourself from her. He wants us to kill each other. I don't. I want you to kill her. Don't be charmed by her faux solidarity. You're not in this together. She's the only one who poses a threat to the world, and she's trying to make you go along with it. You don't have to enable her, especially when you have what it takes to stop her. Had enough of this guy. How do we stop him? Okay, let's say I want to stop her. What do I do? I feel like I can't do much of anything right you now. You can start by remembering that you exist, and not as some part of a gestalt entity formed with the princess. You exist as your own self, complete with your own physical body separate from hers. I'm not so sure about that. We were something like that once, but now? And if thinking about that isn't enough to startle you back to reality, consider this. The princess ate you last time. Stop passively vibing with a literal predator and remember that you're enemies. Remember what she's done to you and how much it hurt. We can't go back to that. We can't go back to the fear and the hunger and the pain. Not after being something as beautiful as this. 
Doesn't all that conflict feel so far away right now? So petty? We've been posed against each other by something that understands the strength of our unity. Mm. I can feel a thumping. A heartbeat. Like a distant terror that keeps getting louder the more we pay attention. Please, stop. If you let it in, we'll fall apart. Don't look at it! Hold yourself together. We're no strangers to effort. We can push this back down. Something might do us in eventually, but I'll be damned if that something is a thought. Gaze at the terror in your heart, or bury it, now before it's too late. Chat, are we gazing or are we burying? We're gazing, aren't we? Yeah, all right. Please, don't make us remember how I was. And just like that, you start to fall apart. I can remember it now. I didn't like being eaten. I'd forgotten how much it burned. And the air was so hard to breathe. But she didn't care. She didn't care at all. At least we didn't have to sit through it to the end. But I think she owes us, don't you lads? She barely felt more than a little indigestion while we burned away inside of her. As you remember the terror and pain you felt at the hands of the princess, you start to remember something else, too. You remember that you are a distinct being with a finite form and a mortal body. You can feel it. There is a shifting of the space around you, the infinitesimal movement of your molecules rearranging back into the shape of what you're meant to be. No! I devoured you! I won! I put things back the way they were supposed to be! Some division, when so, can never truly be mended. A cavernous gash rips across whatever it was you thought you were. cabin comes into being among the trees. Uh, it approaches. It, it approaches. swallows your body whole. And then you find yourself blade in hand exactly where you need to be. At the center of it all is the princess. A wooden and fleshy heart beating with an unbroken rhythm. You're filled with a sense of purpose. Strike at her. End this once and for all. I feel empty, don't you? This doesn't feel like a fight. This isn't what I wanted. Where's the victory in this? I feel safe. She isn't dangerous anymore. We could leave her. We could both live. Do we have to do this? Even the hero. You have to. You know you have to. Whoa! I never want to kill you, not really, but we can't be the same thing as each other. I had to put an end to whatever happened to us. Chat, what are we doing? One or two? You raise the blade, taking aim at her heart, and then you strike. I'm sorry. She's gone. What is that a... But it feels so bad. Like, looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. 
thing reeks of death. Screw the mirror. We just need to find the princess. It's the end for you, but not for me. What is that supposed to mean? Whatever awful thing I felt before, it feels so much worse now. Death. Real death. Screw that. This can't be the end. It just can't. <coughs> the game's gonna re the game's gonna shut off again. Oh, it said you've grown. You are at the cabin. Approach her. You have come back to me with another fragile vessel. I did not think you would. But your commitment now is final. Your ability to walk the path of mutual annihilation is vanished with your return. If you still wish to obliterate me, it will have to wait until I am complete. Flickering lights in empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I sure. am more than I was before. She's Whenever growing. you are ready, I will... There is still much to be seen. Neither of us know the depths of our being. Perhaps at the end of this, I will be the one to kill you. Or perhaps we will leave this place together and find new horizons to discover. Can you give me a straight answer? I like I'm this. I'm sorry. Words are difficult for me. They never fully weave what I wish to say. If you do not like my answers, then you need not ask me questions. The vessels you choose to bring me carry far more meaning than anything words could say in the spaces the between. When I go back, it's as if an invisible wall closes around me. Why can I not do the same things I've done before? Those paths lead to worlds you've already seen, ah. and to perspectives I have already made my own. They are useless to us now. Inaccessible. So I have to weave new paths why wouldn't I be kind to you you are the only thing I know that isn't me there is a hurt that dwells in them but they are not me they are thoughts and perspectives they are feelings that inform my being the wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. I cannot be as I was before. Nothing happened. My roots burrow in an ocean beyond. Destroy your body. You feel nothing. One of the many hands in front of you reaches forward and gently touches the side of your face. There's nowhere for you to be, but he... Alright, I'm ready to go back. How many more vessels? If I am to be an ocean, you have given me enough to build a pond. Oh my, my god. I will transcend in due time, and there is no way forward but to contribute to my awakening. I just gotta keep contributing? This one is like a shadow of me. Twist. Do not mourn her. She has found what she yearned for. I await your return. We will meet again. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path, you're here to slay her. I gotta bring her another vessel. You make your way. A warning. She will. We're not gonna ignore her. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The blade is... Enter and take the blade. Oh! You take the blade from I the gotta table. do all the things. Her voice... Who's... She said... Don't let it... Good. You're still listening to reason. You walk down... She's so... Focus on the task. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? You step forward. Your grip on the blade... Oh? 
No talking then? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife sung, you should just drop She's unarmed. You lunge for you feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Oh. This is it, isn't it? I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder, do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? It's like she's convinced she can't die. Yes, even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago, that arrogant look still plastered on her face. But is it over? Really over? It's over. Don't get all worked up. We should make sure. What's the harm in checking for a pulse? I really don't think you should do that. And why shouldn't we? Is there something you're not telling us? I've told you everything that's happened with complete accuracy. The princess is dead. Your blade pierced her heart. There's no coming back from that. You lean down and wrap your hand around the blade's hilt. But as you begin to slide it out of its resting place, you feel a sharp and sudden jab in your side. What was that? I guess I won't be dying alone after all. Quick, let's get out of here. It's too late for that now. You Dad. collapse to the ground as the mortally wounded princess twists a blade of her own deeper between your ribs. As you fall, she falls with you. An eye for an eye. A life for a life. See you around. You were so close. Why did you hesitate? <sighs> it doesn't matter. At least you matter. Whatever that's worth. Everything goes dark. And you die. And you die. Chapter 2, The Razor. You're on a path. You're here. To okay. You have already committed to my completion. Oh. You cannot go further astray. Okay. Oh, she will lie. He couldn't be. We know what to look out for. That just stay. The interior of the cabin is a jagged mess of warped wood, and the blade is your implement. You take. It feels a bit better to have a. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing what must want. The air seeping up from below has a scrape. Okay, okay, okay. okay. She's Scra not, she's that got sound something. could be anything. It's probably just her <laughs> chains dragging across the floor. I am begging oh, no. you to get out of your head. Her grating voice carries up the <laughs> Is stairs. Is that her claws? I hope you've come to rescue me. I've been stuck down here forever. There is something so wrong with that voice. Yeah. She thinks she's better than us, like she doesn't even have to put on an act this time. As you descend the final step, the fall- Finally, somebody! Quick, get me out of these chains! We're not safe here! Come on now, we're not falling for that, are we? She's trying to trick us, but she can't hide that threatening edge to her voice. She just wants us to get close, to let our guard down. If she sounds threatening, it's because her mask is already slipping. She knows why you're here. You are armed, after all. That is true. What are you waiting for? You are here to rescue me, right? Knife? What are you talking about? I don't have a knife. Where I don't would like I get her. a knife? And 
Why would I stab you to death? I don't know you. You I Okay, like I could have sworn we didn't mention stabbing anyone to death. Sounds like she's really out for blood. Fortunately for you, she isn't armed. It would be so much easier to prove that I do have a sharp object. I could just show it to you, but I don't have one, so I can't. The princess smiles as she pulls her. But look at this! Hands! Hands that don't have anything in them to stab you with! Her smile stretches into an even wider grin as she shakes her sleeves. And empty sleeves, too! Look at how few stabbing implements I have. It's practically zero. Practically. I've shown you all of my hiding spots. What kind of princess do you think I am? I would never hide something sharp somewhere secret. Wait, that sounds like I'm lying, but I'm actually not. My secret zones are for me, only they have <laughs> nothing to do with you or my intention to not stab you to death the second you get close to me. Her smile drops for a moment, her expression sharp and flat. I assure you, there's nothing hidden there. I'm inclined to believe her on that one. She seems serious. Of course, but that doesn't mean that she doesn't have something hidden somewhere. We know for a fact she's armed. <laughs> that this doesn't is... sound like me. This is so creepy. Last time? What are you talking about? Ugh, it's like the two of you are working together on this. Aren't you listening to her? She's obviously lying through her teeth. I'm terrible at spotting lies, and even I can tell something's up here. Her tail's we can't be the only ones that looped back to the start. Someone else has to remember, right? Yes, something is obviously up, and we can all tell that she's lying. The thing she's lying about is how dangerous she is, not dimension hopping or time travel or whatever it is you think you're doing. Of course not! At least not- I have absolutely zero doubts that she is going to stab <laughs> us if we get close Definitely. to her. She certainly feels threatening. Just because she's acting like she's going to stab you doesn't mean she- But you know who is armed? You. But I'm nervous. All the more reason to jump into the deep end and deal with her right now before you waste any more time- Alright, we know that as soon as I attack- But I'm not mad at you, so please stop st How many more please times stop out of reach. vaguely threaten you before you finally- we're Oh, I'm- You're acting like you- My entire world is- Then maybe you should behave- No, all right, fine. All right. Let's, let's do this. The princess falls silent, her smile unwavering as you charge across the room. Okay, she hasn't pulled out a knife yet, and her hands are still behind her back. I think we can do this. I think we can win. We mm. just have to strike now, but make sure you keep your eyes on those hands. I don't trust her for a second. But your focus is broken by the horrible uh. sound of- Who's me? Not ours, right? <laughs> Hers, at first, then yours. <laughs> How? Wh what did she even hit us with? You stare down at your chest and at the long, thin blade she impaled you with. And then the red, angry slit along the flesh of her thigh, where the blade had been nestled just a moment ago. It's still lodged in her leg, emerging from her knee, hinging up and out of her body like some extra metallic limb. Yeah. Bull shit. <laughs> Absolute bullshit. <laughs> You're going to die now. With a twist of her knee and a painful squelch, she does just that. Everything goes dark, and, and you, die. you die. Once again. Alright, the arms race. You're on a path in the woods. No. Fuck that. If we're going to have to keep doing this over and over and over again, we're not starting in that goddamn woods every time. We're starting in the fucking cabin. You're what? I feel dizzy. 
Oh, ho, ho, ho. I guess I took us to the cabin, didn't I? Isn't that interesting? Who holds the cards now? The circle's getting smaller and smaller. Running isn't an option anymore. We have to fight. Good. It's better that way. Without a fight, no one can win. And if no one can win, then nothing has any meaning. Great. So obviously you've already been here. How many times? This is our third? No wonder things have fallen apart. That can't be right. That's too much responsibility. Nah. Impossibly high stakes make the fight so much better. <sighs> Let's just yeah, like stay the Stanley focused, parable? shall we? Minus the cursing, yeah. The only furniture of note is a bent metal table. We take it. Okay, sure. You take the blade before letting me finish telling you it's there. Whoa, he's deciding everything for us. To slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. This feels right. We just have to keep our senses sharp. That's right. We've got to be able to win eventually. We will win eventually. That's a fighting spirit I like to see. I'd love to get started just as much as you would, but how are we supposed to get down there? You walk through the door. You do know what doors are, right? But there isn't a door. There's just that mirror. There isn't a mirror. You really messed things up, didn't you? It's like you can't even see reality anymore. I can feel the air coming up from behind it, mm -hmm. stinking of iron and steel. He might be right. If it's in our way, let's just break it and move on. You make your way to the door at the end of the room, stopping just in front of it. <clears throat> let's just fumble for the handle and be done with it. I don't you reach forward and place your hand on the door to the door. And the mirror's gone. Open. It mirror's was gone. There. Just an illusion. Let's just get to the princess already. <laughs> let's I go. didn't care about the mirror before, and I care about it even less now. Guess it's time for us to see her again. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. You step forward, but you don't get a chance to linger on the basement stairs. They are smooth and flat and metallic, an unintentional and unfortunately slippery ramp that quickly sends you skittering to the bottom. Your body tumbles onto the basement floor and the form of the princess comes into view, standing at a distance. She gives you a wry smile. Hi, it looks like you don't have a way out, so I'm not going to play dumb anymore. But don't worry about how bad you did last time. That's part of the fun. She's got another thing coming if she thinks we're going down easy again. Pride makes us dead. The only thing that matters is survival. Actually, does survival matter? We've died twice and nothing bad... Nothing bad has come of it. Yet. Plenty bad has come of it. You've left at least one entire world to ruin. The people there mattered. The past isn't real. There's only here and now. Your internal bickering is cut short by the wet sound of slicing meat. From the princess's arms erupt <laughs> twin <laughs> blades God. glistening with her blood, the empty flesh of her arms flopping at her elbows like torn sleeves. The chain clattered. She's loose. You're going to make me walk over to you, aren't you? Shit. She's coming for <laughs> us and I'm out of ideas. That's pathetic. Dying is bad as unconditionally sp <sighs> Apparently not. Hey now, let's see how it goes. It could work. It's worth a shot. You throw your hands in the air. And, and drop, drop your blade. Your let's go. See what happens. You can't surrender. Don't you know it takes two to stop a fight? Ah, shit. Before you can do anything else, she charges you and dodge. We dodge. Huh. Okay. You dodge. Oh, the cheat. No, oh, I thought you were surrendering. And then she skewers you. <laughs> Ow. Huh. That's weird. The blade's back in our hand. Can't even surrender, right? Oh, a new one of us. I thought that only happens when we die. Oh, interesting. If we die, you're on a. No, you're in a. Where the hell are you? I think we're dead. And that's all we'll ever be. Voice of the broken. Dead, <laughs> dead, dead. Marvin. Stop saying dead, all of you. We might have died a second ago, but right now we're extremely not dead. This is all horribly wrong. How many times have you been here? This is four. 
No wonder everything's such a mess. This wasn't supposed to go past one. I wonder what you're going to do next. You're so full of ideas, and I love that. But I guess we don't have time to talk about things before the princess advances. Okay. Whatever we do gets us another... us. Let's see how many we can stack. There's got to be a point where it makes us better than her. We don't need any other voices chattering about in here. It'll just confuse us. All we need is to keep fighting. Yeah, I'll pass on that. As long as we keep moving. Oh, great. So it's going to get even more crowded. Even Come on. Show me something new. Uh, we're going to fight her again if we're going to have a stiff upper lip. Oh, that's easy. I'm going to try flirting with her. We're going to appeal to her authority. She has swords for arms. We don't. And we don't. We're panicking. She wins by killing us, right? So let's beat her to it. All these ideas suck. Think of something better. It doesn't work and she kills you again and again and again and again and again. Your memory blurs as you, as your consciousness leaps from life to life to life, holding out only snippets of the conflict that transpires. None of this is working. Think she skewers you. Well, there's more of us. Let's see if that helps. And then you skewer yourself. I thought we both understood that dying doesn't get you anywhere. Huh. That didn't do much of anything. We're tougher than I thought. Compliment her on those gleaming blades. There's nothing better than a capable woman. She skewers you. You're cute. It doesn't matter how many times this takes, we can't give up. <sighs> okay, let's go again. He's coming up with more Just ideas. Panic. Flee. She skewers you. <laughs> no, you don't get to escape. See? We're getting better. Okay, okay, yeah. That was a good one. She's going to kill this body either way. So stop feeling what it feels. She skewers you. Ooh, it's a dating not bad. Sim after all. Real <laughs> tough. We're getting close to something. Can't you feel it? One last time. You're right. One last time. That's all we need. Let's appeal to her better nature. We haven't tried that. I'm sure she'll listen to reason. She skewers you. <laughs> and then everything goes dark, and you die. Oh, chapter four, this is new. Your Honor, don't lose your head. We're in a cabin, and we'll take it from here. Everything feels like it finally fits, doesn't it? We're up here, which is different, and different is good. And our steel claw is already in our hand. Ho ho! What if we throw it out the window? <laughs> Over my... That won't be very hard. Besides, what better way to die so very many times than at the sharp hands of a beautiful woman? The smitten? Sure, I can think of a better way to die. Yeah, they're the all cold? the same, really. How about we stop the thinking paranoid? about the only thing... The opportunist? Are... How about you stick to describing things? Yeah. Leave it to the pros. Narrator, All right, this is good. We heroically stride through the door and towards our destined final encounter. Fine by me. You walk to the door and onto the basement stairs. It's more of a slide. Okay. We know. Fine. I'll just shut up then and speed this whole thing along. Thank you. Are you sure you don't want me to describe the stairs? Or this room? Or... Don't care. Just want to win. <laughs> Fine. You make your way to the basement, where the princess awaits you. You know, this last time I killed you, and you didn't pop right back up again? I thought I'd actually done it. I thought I'd cut you into so many pieces you just weren't able to stitch yourself back together. But I guess we're not done. That's okay with me. It's good even. I like that. She I got like something Siri. ready for you while you were gone. Do you want to see it? I'm not going to wait for an answer. I'm just going to show you. It's worth it, though. Just you wait, and not for very long, because I'm going to do it right now. Do, do, do. Are you going to say what she does? Uh, oh, do, do you want me to talk? Well, yeah, she <laughs> says she has something new. I want to hear about the new thing. Yeah, me too. I think I speak for all of us when I say that I would like to hear you describe her new thing. Really? Okay, then. Here we go, now. The princess's skin twists, splitting into red blooms of raw meat as it stretches and tears. And then it erupts. She becomes a wave of blood and viscera, pieces of her splattering against the walls. All that remains in the center of the room 
is a skeleton of blades. A heart beats furiously in its cage of a chest. Are you ready for what comes next? Sure. Holy shit. <laughs> She's gorgeous. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> divine. Yes. Behold. The, the perfect, perfect woman. woman. Do you think we can throw her out the window? That looked painful. How is she still alive? Hearts still beating. That's all she needs. This is fake. This is all fake. That she doesn't even have a back anymore. How are we supposed to stab her in it? This is all just a sick joke. I hate existing. We're screwed. I, I quit. I'm done. Forget it. This all right, is all just a sick joke. What just happened? Oh. It's so quiet. Something feels different about you. It almost makes me feel different. Like I should actually take this seriously for once. Maybe you should. You do not act, and yet through that inaction, your body moves on its own. The princess strikes as you approach, but her blade, but her blow finishes its arc. You're already somewhere else. You're incredible. Your weapons clash again and again. You and her entering a rhythm free of thought and free of self. There's ease. There is only one dance, the ebb and flow, the shifting of the tides back and forth between you. The deeper you fall into your play, the faster your hearts pound and the faster the momentum volleys between you. Endlessly building crescendo and then an opening. Your blade strikes free of volition and strikes hers too. Both strikes are lethal. Uh, neither of you will survive, but neither of you fear what's to come. This is a good ending. You do not get to see each other die, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. You've withered. Find yourself in long quiet once again. You are at the cabin. Approach her. I am a growing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing. All of me is changing. Ugh. Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring. Do not worry. Okay, I'll just, just bring me back. I'm ready to go back. I will be here when it is time for Everything us to meet again. Die. Chapter one, here in the princess. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that, you're here. Don't mention it. It's all part of the job. You make your a warning. She will. We're not going to ignore him. The interior of the blade. You take her voice. Who's there? She sounds. Don't let it. F Good. You're still listening to reason. You walk down. She's so focused on the task. And there you are. Are you here to? You step forward. Oh, I'm probably so. You lunge. You feel flesh. This is it, isn't it? <laughs> Do you actually? It's like. Yes, but it's over. Is it over? Yes, exactly. It's over. With your work done, you make your way back up the stairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? You did kill someone. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. But it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. But that day isn't today. Let's just get out of here. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from... Only, a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. What happened? Everyone is fine. It's just that 
you and the cabin are now far away from them. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. This is good. Everyone is happy. You'll be happy. This isn't an ending. In fact, now that the princess has been slain, endings are a thing of the past. No. This is the beginning of oh, eternity. No. Your reward. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days or months or years or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. Psst. Hey, we're not just going to stay here forever, right? Are we really happy? Or is he just telling us that we are? Really? Well, if you ever change your mind, just let me know, I guess. More happy time passes, though the word begins to lose its meaning. Mm -hmm. Time, that is. Not happy. Happy still has plenty of meaning. Please, shake yourself out of it. We have to get out of here. The little voices, please, fall on deaf ears. Eventually, you pass into a blissful state of pure <clears throat> existence. Though words like eventually and pass ceased to have any meaning to you long before that shift. You have already committed to my completion. You cannot go further astray. Good, because I have an idea to get us out of here. What was that? Was that like an ending? Though you're probably not going to like it. The blade. We can use the blade to get out of this. I can hear everything you say, little voice. There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on, and I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. He's right. It's the only way out. Do you hear that? It wants to take this happiness away from you. It wants this wonderful place to end. Do you not? There's more for us to do, and the only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it. Don't you dare. How astute. In a sense, we die, but looking at things from another angle, are we even really alive anymore? I know this is out there, but trust me, I know using the blade will work. That little voice didn't... Thank you. I made this happy little place for you. Is this not a good enough reward for saving the world? An eternity of bliss? You... you... ingrate? Fine. Whatever. For the first time since time stopped meaning anything, you throw open the door to the basement and walk down the stairs. The princess's body is dust and bones, though the blade you used to slay her is still as pristine as the day you first held it. You pick up the blade, you stab yourself, and you die. The end. Nice knowing you. Oh my god. You're on a path, you're here to slay her. <sighs> oh, she will, she won't. The interior of the cabin is the it feels like a The door to the, the room but nobody's as much as I guess we'll just have to go down and see. As you descend the final step, the form of oh. the princess comes into view. A skeletal body lying in a heap on the floor, its wrist still bound to the wall by a thick chain. Okay. She's definitely dead. It's just like I told you. Before you have a chance to finish your thought, the top of a head appears from underneath the floor. Two deep-set eyes stare up at you, followed by a mischievous skeletal grin. And finally, the rest of the body floats up. G -g -g ghost Oh. <laughs> wow. How absolutely terrifying. 
What's a ghost supposed to do to us? Oh, it's you. Hiya, Keller. I was hoping to see you again. I have some issues. The princess drifts across the room into your orbit, gently running her fingers across your shoulders and down your neck as she circles you. Her touch is cold and ethereal, formless yet real enough that her icy fingertips send shivers dancing across your skin. So she has a body, and she's right there. That means we could kill her again. I see you brought that annoying knife again. So, are you waiting for a chance to use it? Or are you here for something else? How should I know? Why does anyone come back? Maybe I have unfinished business with you. Or maybe... All I know is there's a hole in my chest. Not the big obvious one that you put there. There's something older and deeper. A nagging reminder that I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Home. And just where is home, I wonder? I don't know where home is. I just know it isn't here. But I can feel it calling to me from someplace far away. Wherever I'm supposed to be, it's- How specific. And how convenient for her. You see what she's doing, right? She's suggesting that the only way you can rid yourself of her would be to let her out. Which, in case you haven't been listening, will spell the end of the entire world. Are we putting this to a vote? Because if that's what it comes down to, that's what it comes down to. Oh, that's sweet of you to offer, but killing yourself wouldn't help either of us. It would seem that everyone here is in agreement except for <laughs> you. I shouldn't have to tell you that you shouldn't kill yourself. So please, try to keep your suicidal tendencies in check. Like I said. Man, there's a lot of options here. We could always try violence. She's a ghost. Who says ghosts are immune to violence? Common sense? There's nothing common or- Fine. Then let me observe that the acts of killing her and killing ourself haven't got us much of anywhere. Mm -hmm. We're still back in this cabin, we're still dealing with her, only now she has a good reason to hate us. I suppose you have a point. Do you have any ideas then? We could always ask her what she wants. Oh, for the love of- Don't do that. Whatever she wants, it will end the world. And is that really so bad? Yes, it is by its very definition bad. But those are the only options, aren't they? I killed you. What do you know not being dead? Is there any way I can help you get home? Do you need me to bury those bones? Maybe I can ask her no. that. Those bones are just a body. They aren't me. Bury them. Smash them. It won't do a thing. But you can help me. This place won't let me leave. At least, I'm not alone. I've tried. Before you came back to me, I explored every inch of this place. Even the spaces between the walls. But I never f Maybe we should just leave. If she can't get out on her own, then why do we have to do anything? We could probably walk out right now and everything will be fine. Hasn't got out and can't get out are two very different things. That'd be dull, anyway. It's more interesting. But you can come and go as you please, can't you? After all, you owe me. Absolutely not. Is she asking if she can possess us? She is. And I hope I don't need to explain why you can't let that happen. It would be catastrophic if she managed to escape this place. Would she be able to see us if we went along with it? Now isn't that an interesting mm. thought? We could finally bring her face to face with him. I wonder what she would have to s- <sighs> You won't like how things play out if you go down this path. Uh... 
Sounds great. The princess Definitely. swims Let's through go. the air in front of you, pausing for a brief we'll try moment. Try killing. We've tried all the things. Eyes stare deeply into yours. We're gonna try. There's a hunger in it. You're really You're trying to make it up to me, aren't you? Thanks for being a pal, killer. I mean it. What are you doing? See you soon. She rushes forward and then she. I'm not sure I like this. Can we get a do over? I'm afraid it's too late to stop now. The numbness gives way. You collapse yada, to the yada, floor. Yada, everything goes You've dark. Get up. I know everything feels heavy right now, but we still have to get out of here. Your eyes flick back open as you get your bearings, your vision swimming as. So, this is what it's like to be you, huh? Disembodied voice narrating your every move? So, <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> work much. like that for you? Clearly, it doesn't. Or she wouldn't have commented on it. All these shards of broken glass on the floor. Are they also supposed to be you? Hey, I'm not a shard of broken glass, I'm... It's okay, you can finish your thought. I'm... a voice? I'm me is what I am. Who cares what we are? We exist. That's all that matters. You don't have to fight. We'll all be out of here soon. No, it matters. What we are matters. If I'm a shard of broken glass, then that raises some questions about certain other voices in here too. I'm clearly the same thing you are. They're not listening to me. Do they not listen to you either? No, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about him. You don't need to know what I am. You just need to know that I'm different from you. More, More important. important. So, you're the one who pulled the strings and made me dead. I can tell you don't belong here. You're barely even there. Like the shape of something left behind. You're more of a memory than a person. That's rude. You kind of like me, actually. I'm just going to ignore her. You push yourself off the ground. The princess is nowhere to be seen. Because I'm in here with all of you. Everybody knows that. I'm setting the stage. The room is empty because mm -hmm. you made a spiteful, idiotic, and all-round foolish decision. You don't have to let him get to you. You're better than that. You're starting to make things right. <sighs> this is infuriating. Just whatever you do, you can't leave this place. It's not too late to fix this. It's okay. We're almost out of here. Just take it one step at a time and everything will be fine. Everything won't be fine if you listen to I her. Think we have to One way or her. another, this is all going to end. Wouldn't that be nice? <sighs> Your legs, weary with the weight of the princess's spectral form and clumsy with the cold that still pervades them, stumble towards the stairs. I'm just trying to get home. You but that's exactly what you don't know that I do. Wait. If she has a home to go back to, doesn't that mean that her leaving won't end the world? It doesn't mean that at all. It could mean that wherever her home is, it's outside of the world. Yeah, but it has to be somewhere, doesn't it? And if it's somewhere, then it's part of the world. I suppose it's all a matter of perspective. Where does the world end or something? Against the backdrop of the inane conjecture of meaningless little voices, your body continues its ascent up the stairs. For how much you hate her, you aren't doing a whole lot to stop us from leaving this place. Maybe the bossy one doesn't actually hate me. Mm -hmm. Maybe he even likes me. Or maybe he just knows that he's been in the wrong. Maybe he's trying to make amends. Not at all. I'll have you know that I do hate you. And I will continue to hate you for as long as I am able. It's just the weight of it all. It's too mm. much for me to do anything other than describe and dictate. And whine. This body wasn't made to hold you and the princess. If you want to renege on your cataclysmically terrible decision a minute ago, well, you're the only one that can make that happen. You continue slowly to the door, your feet like lead dragging across the floorboards. We're so close. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If we get out of here, I won't even care that you murdered me anymore. You lift your shaking hand and rest it on the door. Was exhaustion really the best? Let's go. Open Shit. the door. But exhaustion wasn't enough, was it? The handle clicks as you twist it. And then the door groans open. <laughs>
collapse to the ground. You and the princess, free from the confines of the cabin. As you exhale from the effort, you look up and see... Uh, yes? Nothing. He's gone. And so is everything else. Oh, so let's we go. did slay him after all. He had it coming, I suppose. But what about us? Are we just stuck here in nowhere forever? Did taking her out of the cabin really end the world? We're still here. Yeah, but that thing you said earlier, uh, are we not part of the world anymore? Are we in some world that exists after the world ends, or on top of the other world but not in it, or have we never been part of the world? Okay, I've heard enough from these two. Let's see if I can pop out. Hitchhiker. Nice. Um, oh, you actually freed me, didn't you? I'm... Stop mentioning I think this was where I meant to be. Ah, here we go. Another soul. She's gone. Is that? But it feels so bad. You don't need. Okay. Whatever, mate. Unraveled. There's a world beyond the end. No. There's Can I just spam we through a bunch of these? No. This one is vapor. Do not mourn her. She will find one. These gifts. You've already. I will see what textures will you leave if you close the you'll always Oh yeah, the game stops. Ugh. I'm gonna start the game again. I just wanna you know what happens. To yes, return and ready to go back. The next time I will be here. Everything goes dark and you die. Chapter one. You're on the princess. You're on a path. In the woods, you're here. So I've brought the specter to her. I keep getting these achievements that say I've brought things to her. So I just keep having to. Um, you make your way. She will. To bring her different type of souls. So I bet I could just run through this. Good. You walk down the steps. You focus on the top. And there you are. Are you here to kill me? You step. F oh, I'm probably so. She's on. Now I have to drop the blade. The Thank you. That will be fine. Don't know what you're. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Oh, have you. You walk up to their large. I'm guess maybe doubtful. Well, she we were stuck. Down. You attempt to some. You make your way easier. Easier. I heard the doors. The knife. You won't. Yes, yes, yes. Without hesitation, you bring the blade down. You bat. I thought it's an act. I'm not. Don't waver now. As you raise your blade to strike again, forget. You yeah, roll out of her bra. Though every we can still. Give up. Are you serious? The princess, wounded but still alive, she places a confident heel on your chest and pushes you to the ground. Her knee slides to your throat and your windpipe is crushed under weight. You pathetic. This is the end. Everything goes dark. All right, the tower. This is a different place. You're here. Oh, she will. We might. Come on. I'm not your bitch. Just. I've read. So we're just going straight in. We're going straight in. We're going to give them different types of stuff. Here we go. And the blade. Why do we feel we don't... F you take... The door to the... Huh. But still her boot. Is you weren't... You need... To it doesn't... Come on. Let's just go. Let's go. We got to slay another the person. Tower. The chain is... The little bird has returned to me. You brought... As I if... I have a... Have a of course. Oh, I under... Kneel. Oh, 
Kneel. Your legs buckle. Oh, jeez. That's the last. What draws? Speak. The last time we met, nobody should have met her before this. You should be the first. You're the only one I trust to deal with her. Then you shouldn't have trusted us. There He's being melodramatic, but yeah, we've been here before and she absolutely destroyed us. What are we- That's worrying. Whatever you do, don't tell her why you're here. It's best not to- you weak-willed buffoon. <laughs> Is that so? The Am I bored? I'm just trying to get to yeah. I'm trying to get to this last point here. Inevitable. I'm yours to command. Pledge Your yourself to her. Your will was so easily broken. Am I that magnificent? All you need to do now is break my chains. Now this is what you know. You can't just. There's still something in the way. A greasy film. It's is that a person? No. Talking about it the narrator used to again. Be a person. It's something different now. An echo. Is is she talking about you? That's impossible. She's not supposed to be able to interact with me. She. You're a small one, aren't you? A shriveling little worm stretched beyond its limits, trying to control things that it can't understand. No, no, no. What are you talking about? I'm just... I don't care what you are. You're mine. <coughs> oh. Rise, my little bird. Without, Without hesitation, you're, you're brought, brought to, to your feet. feet. Break my chains. And how are we supposed to do that? All we have is a blade. All, All you need to do, do is believe it's been done. done. Oh... Her chains shatter, and the cuff falls from her wrist. She is loose, and the end is upon us. What a good disciple you are. Come, it's time for us to leave. She's gone. Is that a... Alright. This, I don't want. Wait, I am nothing? But that isn't right. You can't be nothing. You refocus your gaze and you see it. A figure. Faint, a veiled shadow just beyond your reflection. I think you know what I am. A crack slides down the center of the mirror, splitting the image in the glass in two. Another crack forms and another, turning the mirror into jagged shards of broken glass. And then another crack forms, another, okay. I haven't, and that's by both necessity and this construct you're in exists in many places, but you'll be awake soon. You already know what you are. You are long, quiet, a vast and nascent god. And it's finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. Proceed to the cabin one last time. When you arrive at the heart of the thing, there is no final vessel for you to bear witness to. There is nothing for you to find. This moment, I've missed you dearly. She unfurls an endless cascade of smiles and response and then patiently waits for you to continue. I'm the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. These are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the shifting mound, a pale imitation of what I actually am. Ever the passive player, Always reacting and never acting, but it's woven into your nature, 
isn't it? When the echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not deaf, but I contain it in my multitudes. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about oh. a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or will you open the final doors to Ooh. our liberation? Can we really just leave? Don't you have a say in all of this? Let's talk this through. If I let you out, an entire world ends for good. I can't do that. If you're always going to become this, then what was the point of me doing anything? There has to be another way. Slay the princess. Or leave. Or slay the princess. I told you what was going to happen when we reached this point. Slay the princess. What do we do? What's the point? I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't even know what the point of any of this is. I did not anticipate spending three and a half hours losing my mind, but here we are. But I need your help now, chat. We need to figure it out. What are we doing? Are we going to slay the princess? Or are we going to say it's time to leave this place, but I don't know how to leave or where to go? I'm also lost. I don't know what's happening. The option of what's the point? If you're saying that, it's because you don't yet understand. But we cannot. Violence and passion are dances that both of us know well. If this is what it takes to enlighten you, what's happening? Then so be it. You are nothing. A black hole of self-loathing fed That's by the matter of your restless thoughts. A dog blind to its leash. But there is no light without the dark. When I proclaimed my godhood and offered you a place at my side. You gladly became the instrument of my new creation. Only with both of us is there a future to look towards. It is hope that carves meaning into being. Whoa. Reject, argue your independence. You act as though the world can't exist without you, but I've existed without you. Have you? Or is what you think of as independence merely an illusion? Without me, you can have no contrast. And without contrast, you have no shape. Shiver passes through you as unseen fingers dance across your skin. They remember the violence you inflicted on them, and yet they don't return. I offer you absolution, and you take you felt the pain you caused another, and you were willing to sacrifice everything you thought without sin. Remain silent. But you say nothing. This torrent of slaves cuts you from boundless angles. You are a body. You are gory ribbons. You are a body again. And you feel all of it. On and on it goes until your bodies are not your thoughts or not you. Alive, dead, alive, dead, alive, dead, then alive and dead and alive and dead all at once. You learned to put yourself away, and in your stillness you rose above me. You died countless steely deaths, and you lived countless short lives, and yet it is all so far behind you. I pushed you to a greatness you never would have reached without me. Remain silent. And so your quietude continues. A web of nerves, laying upon a web of nerves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and, and when the tapestry was undone. Silence. Is your unbroken silence a lack of an answer? Or has your understanding begun to move beyond words? Is a person? Is it their body? Is a person is not a body. We don't have to sit here and Death read her peeling us apart. Into something new. Remain it silent. Is still, you hide the contours of your As the clash between you abates, you begin to shake, your will rapidly dissolving. Nothing is immutable. Everything. There is no constant. The open your eyes and accept what we are. All right, well, we can't just be silent anymore. Slay the princess. Even now, you think you can destroy me. I don't know. If it takes all of eternity to break your delusion, I will still break it. You don't have to face her alone. You Are need you a better place to strike from if you're going to land a decisive blow. I can help you with that. There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. I can take you to her heart. It's time to resume our dance. She's relentless, isn't she? Let's make this quick. Are you ready? Then let's go. And here we are. I'd say we were back where it all started, but I guess it's a little after that, isn't it? Do you need me to describe things? It's just us. I think the rest of them are still out there, jumbled up in the rest of her. Yeah, it's dead the silent The narrator's here. gone. Whatever it was that was left of him, I don't think it could handle you waking up to godhood. Pretty sure he got obliterated. Even after you decided to see his plans through, I guess you can like the idea and hate the man. That's probably for the best. It's always seemed to give us more options than not. Yeah, of course. The interior of the cabin is, well, it's a, there's no mirror either. And I know I've already mentioned it, but if we want to see this through. The stairs. We both know why you're. It sounded just like that. And down we go. Let's go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. And there no you chains. are, knife in hand. That sight brings me back. You're going to do it then, aren't you? You're, you'll have all of eternity to yourself after this. Why don't we chat a little before I go? Chat, do I sit with her or do I slay her? One or two, one slay, two sit. I got one sleigh, We're two sleighs, two sleighs in a sit. What are we doing here, chat? We got two sleighs and two sits, three sleighs, four sleighs. looks like sleigh. So this is it then. So, that's how it is. Whatever world you want to build without me, I hope it works out. Despite our differences, I've... Always loved you, and I wish you nothing. Her but voice the best. is different, though. You blink, and the princess is gone. All you have left is her small, melancholic weight that sits at the borders of your heart. Wait, she had no chains anymore. I should have talked to her. By destroying her once and for all, you also destroyed a part of yourself. But the world hasn't ended. Things she's continue on. Gone. And I don't think she's coming back. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have slayed her. Is that a metaphor, or are you being literal? It doesn't matter. We don't need to linger down here anymore. Let's get going. I feel bad now, because she just kind of let me do it. It's quiet here. 
But there's even more to see beyond this place, the fruits of your labor, a world free from death. The body of an ancient creature stirs from its hibernation. You feel sensation in limbs you once couldn't fathom. Everything here is you. You feel your wings spanning cosmic scale, twisted and crumpled and bound, agonizing tension to a finite plane. You can feel the glass of construct pressing in you. He's gone. She's gone. No one is left to trap us here but us. You are free and before lies an endless expanse of absolute reality. A new absolute reality and forged by your will and by a long arduous cycle of bloodshed that has stained your hands countless times over. But there will be no more bloodshed it's in this new world. It's over, isn't it? But all of us are still here. I knew we'd finally see it through. All it takes to be a winner is grit and determination. <clears throat> we really did win. Did we the house now? We get to make the rules. This is nice. No more it's all the voices. Yeah, the the skeptic, the paranoid, the cold, well, the hero, the opportunist, the spit, the skeptic. Here. 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 It's good to be back. Yeah. We can do that. Ah, oh, all right, we did it. My goodness. What an adventure. <laughs> Thank you.